This was a project from a company called Homeless Entrepreneur. So I took part in it back in September 2019. And what we had to do was kind of just raise awareness about the homeless situation in Barcelona. Most people think it's just about giving food, giving clothes, when in reality it's not. It's actually about getting them off the street and getting them back into work, which a lot of charities aim at giving food and clothes to the homeless. But in reality, if you actually speak to them, what they really want, not all of them, but a lot of them, is to get off the street and actually go back into work. So what we did is every three months, I think it is in Barcelona, they do a group sleep out. So you sleep out with some of the people who used to be homeless and now on the program who are getting back into work and also other people who are interested in it. So I think there was about nine to 10 of us in total um, and it was terrible weather. And yeah, that's it. You'll see it all in the video. So uh, yeah, it's about half past 11 now. I'm just gonna find somewhere to sleep. We picked a good day because it's just a little bit raining. Um, and I think at two, three o'clock in the morning, it's gonna start thunderstorm. So we've got to find a decent place to sleep and uh, it's pretty hard. It's not as easy as you think. pretty hard, it's not as easy as you think. When you're sleeping, um, think about how comfortable you are. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So yeah, we finally found a place where we're going to sleep for the night. If uh, anyone's from Barcelona, you'll probably recognize this place, which is just near uh, the Cida de la Park, which is just over there. So it's raining pretty heavily. There's already quite a few uh, homeless people already here at the moment. There's uh, also as well, there's a camera crew over there who are reporting the news, I'm guessing, of the, the homeless people who are here. This is our mini camp for now. Uh, we're just going to go out now and find some uh, flowers for tomorrow because tomorrow is a uh, Catalan, uh, Catalan festival. Um, I'll keep you updated. Uh, we're probably going to get a our, our heads down in about an hour or so. It's pretty cold so far. Everyone's got jackets on. Everyone's pretty wet because it's torrential rain. So let's see how long we stay here before the police kick us out. So now we've already spotted 10 people sleeping on the street. Uh, here's a video of the rest of them. There's about 15 so far. So there's even more now. So now there's even more. So on just a stretch of about 100 meters, we've just seen 15 people already sleeping on the street out of the rain. Yeah, so now it's uh, about half past one. So we've still not uh, decided to go to sleep yet. But pretty much everyone who's out on the streets already asleep. You can probably see there's a guy over there, piss wet through. Uh, so yeah, this is half one. There's still traffic going past, still pretty noisy. I don't really know how people speak sleep unless they have earbuds. Instead of the Hunger Games, it's the, the Homeless Games. Homeless Games. <laughs> 
So it's now uh, 2.30, something like that in the morning. I'm just trying to get to bed now because everyone's pretty tired. And this is it, see, everyone else has just gone to the toilet before we go to bed. I've got a dog. Someone's decided to bring a dog along. And it's decided to sleep on, uh, on my sleeping bag. It's still absolutely lashing it down. It's, uh, yeah, it's getting pretty cold now as well. So let's see how long I can sleep for. So it's uh, getting to three o'clock in the morning now. We're all trying to get to bed. Some crazy French guy still got his music on. But uh, I'm pretty sure most people have dozed off. Apart from myself and uh, Andrew, he's the founder of Homeless Entrepreneur. Let's have a look. Sure that now? Ah, they're kind of, are, are kind of still awake. Gonna... No, this is going to be for uh, for the blog, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to say good night yeah. from uh, me and Andrew and the rest of the group. Yeah, See when, you tomorrow. Yeah, when, you, when you're sleeping, um, think about how comfortable you are. <laughs> you're not lying on cement, and you have a better pillow. So, uh, yep. appreciate that. I've got my bag, which is filled with uh, bottles <laughs> and uh, extra t-shirts and stuff. But at least the, the rain's eased off a little bit now. So we're gonna try and get our heads down. It's still pretty noisy in the center. Catch you guys tomorrow. Yeah, so I was just gonna go back, go to sleep. I'm gonna go and put my uh, earbuds in, but then since I'm on the side and uh, Andrew just said it's not a very good idea to put earbuds in because I should hear if anyone's going to come up and kick me in the face. So, uh, right, this is where we are. Last one of the night for sure. And uh, yeah, if you don't hear from me tomorrow, it means I'm dead. So let's see how it goes. So we've just woken up. It's like half past six, seven o'clock. The uh, wind's been ridiculous it's just been insane you just can't sleep cars going past all the time drunk people going past all the time so i think everyone's just about getting up now then we've got a camera crew just around the corner it's going to be videoing us all day i think as well but uh yeah it's pretty warm hey i'm going to show them uh Homeless Kleenex. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that. Whoa! But, uh, <laughs> he's only joking. But uh, yeah, we've got one of the guys that's going to be doing this for us today. So now we're going to go and get some breakfast and uh, yeah, I think warm up a little bit because I think some people are quite cold. I've seen a bit. So yeah, we've just woken up. It's about 6:30, 7 o'clock. Uh, yeah, you can't really sleep. The wind was so bad. Uh, the rain was battering down. It's like a stupid thunderstorm. Um, then you got people going past all the time, screaming, drunk people. Then you got cars. The bin lorry went past about five different times, emptying the bins. So yeah, it's just impossible to sleep. Uh, but at least we're not wet. We got out of the we got out of the rain. Everyone's just waking up now. I'm gonna go for breakfast and uh, it's mental like you wake up and there's uh, there's just like another five homeless people I'm not gonna turn the camera around this time but literally just sleeping like 20 30 meters away from us and then on the other side it's exactly the same they weren't there at three o'clock in the morning when we tried to go to sleep this morning so uh, yeah we're gonna get up now and go and see the Catalan parade well first go and get some breakfast so uh, I'll fill you in a bit. Yeah, it's now at 7 a.m. Everyone's pretty much up now. I think. I don't think many people are really uh, used to sleeping out on the street or actually sleeping out at all who've been out with us, apart from the ones who are actually on the, the Homeless Entrepreneur program. But there's not many people now. The worst thing is, is this is the best time to get some sleep because the temperature warms up a little bit. There's not as many cars. Um, and also about well, the, the rain stuff. That was the worst. I don't know how anyone could sleep in that. It was it was horrendous.
It was an interesting one. I didn't think it was going to hit home so hard than it did. Is when you're actually outside, it's the fact of being so vulnerable.